Hey guys, welcome to part three of making reflex tracks in Leveler. I wanted to uh, go back to part two a little bit. I forgot to mention something. The smudge tool has a default strength of 95. In part two, I had already changed it to 25 and didn't realize it. So just to quickly demonstrate what 95 does as opposed to what 25 did right here. So we'll zoom in a little bit. And as you can see, the strength is uh, quite stronger than 25 was. So I like a uh, more subtle approach to uh, forming stuff, but I just wanted to touch on, uh, touch on that a little bit that I forgot that I did change uh, the strength, so. Now that we got that out of the way, I'm going to now show our uh, flatten tool, which is pretty cool. We'll just go ahead and select this whole thing here. And right over here, our flatten. And we've got our zero right here. That's what we want. We're gonna pick our big brush. And just erase everything here. So in this one, I'm just going to go over making a uh, whole bunch of different jumps and just how to go about doing, doing it. Okay. Looks like I still missed a little bit. Okay. So for this first one, I was thinking we'd do like a a step up so maybe our first part is uh, like five feet I'm gonna switch to concave add and oh. something like that move this back Mm. Let's do a little bit shorter. There we go. And then with still keeping the five, we're going to go up another five, except we're going to just kind of determine how far we want. <laughs> it got changed to replace. I just noticed, uh, why did it just do that? Well, because it got changed to replace up here. And I didn't realize when I started making the jump itself that I was set to replace, so easy to do. Now we've got five on top of five here. So now our total is 10, and that's what we want. And now we can go uh, down negative five. And about here, so. Yeah. And then maybe right here. Yeah. So now you got yourself like that step up tabletop uh, type deal. Which these are pretty cool, I think be interesting to see what it looks in game but uh just like everything else uh, it's always trial and error to see what looks good in game so keep that in mind you're uh, going to always have trial and error always mm -hmm. let's do i'll show a quick way to make whoops um i don't use this way very much, but Dark Slides uh, showed me. If you go to your filter, you can go to Lines, and then you can set this up. Um, I think this is default. I'm not sure, though. Um, I think three, and then make
making this like 14, maybe this 10. I don't remember what my, let's make it 12. And we'll hit preview. So like the line width is three pixels. I'm not sure what the span actually is. If it's from here to here being 12, that's very possible. And then the spacing is supposed to be like 14 pixels between each. So we're gonna hit okay. And then I'm going to hit F3 for the smooth. You can also find it here uh, in our filters, blur, uh, you could do any kind of these uh, blurs or just a quick smooth. And that's what we're going to do. And just keep doing it till they look like whoops that you'd see on a track. Mm hmm yeah something like that and then and then see we have this cut off here so what we, what you want to the beginning of a whoop section is an entrance so we're going to control d deselect i'm going to grab selection tool again and this isn't too bad the whoops are about four feet that's not too bad uh end game Hopefully it got the right selection. You want to try and get about the middle. So now we can use the replace function for our ramp. What we're going to do is we're going to zoom in a little bit here. And so we want to do 3.8 for our total height. And then because we're going straight from zero, we're going to keep zero right here if you had a different uh set of circumstances where you needed to go from a certain uh, height to a certain height this is what you would do also but we are going to choose uh smooth and we'll see what that looks like here So I miss just a tad bit of the top. Just a tad bit. But you can always readjust. This is one way you could adjust. Uh, I normally would have just... Um, redone my selection and made it go further. Oh, come on. You get that sometimes where you go to click on it and it sends you across the screen. But yeah, you want something like that where you have an entrance into these things. But... That's one way to make them. Another way is to manually make them all by yourself in here. Or uh, the method that I prefer is Photoshop. But that's just because I haven't used this method uh, very much. So if I experimented with it quite a bit, I'm sure I could get uh, the right settings. And, you know, you'd have instant whoops, you know, right at your disposal. So... Yeah, it's just something to decide on and what you want to do. But I so far like making my whoops in uh, Photoshop. So, trying to think of the other things that I can show you. I'm not sure if I went over blur. Uh, I probably did go over blur on the sec the part two. So we won't worry about that. Um, yeah. I'll go over a few more things. Before I wrap up the video.
um, you can go up here and look through your documentation and you can find all kinds of stuff to learn. Uh, basically, the stuff that I'm trying to show you, you know. Um, yeah, read this. I mean, it does a lot of things, and I still don't know everything. Um, let's do an addition to, say, like a raised section. We could even do, let's add to this whoop section, actually. I'll show you this real quick. So if we had this section, and say we want to make it so it's like a hump in the middle of it or something. We go to our tool. We're going to choose add, and we'll keep it smooth. And yeah, let's just keep it at four. Because we're adding four more on top of everything here. So the overall height, four, it's gonna be like eight feet high total. So let's go to this whoop right here. And try and remember it's right there. And then go negative four. <laughs> so what do I want? Okay. <clears throat> I don't remember which one it was. I think it was this one. Yeah. And so now you can quickly add to stuff if you want to make something like that. You could have also um, had your uh, overall size of the, the hump and then added uh, this stuff on top of it as well. So different ways to do things. Um, but I think that is going to be it for this one. I feel like I didn't show too much on this one. But um, yeah, these are just the basics so far. Um, i trying to think of anything else that I can show you. The line tool is kind of cool. I don't remember. Yeah, I think we just kept it to replace. Because you can do uh, lines through your sections. Which is pretty cool. You like making uh, instant ruts. And so, like, this doesn't look good right now, but if you do your selection and then hit F3 a couple times, you don't, you'd want to do this in moderation, of course, but you can uh, kind of play around with it and start to get some stuff that's like this. So that's another way that you could do ruts if you wanted. Yeah, I almost forgot about that. So, alright guys, I will see you guys uh, later. I'm not sure what I'm doing for the next video just yet, but probably something to do with uh, Photoshop and uh, going back and forth. So, see you guys later.